Welcome back. Dave Jones joins me now from the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development with a look at Johnny Cash's hideaway in Bonacqua, Tennessee. It's really about 40, 45 minutes west of Nashville. And you know, I've been watching a lot of the Ken Burns things. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, six of the eight segments included Johnny Cash. And uh, there was this place that I'd heard about, but it did not get covered in the Ken Burns series. And it's in a little community called Bon Aqua. And uh, I went over there and just was really surprised. It's just 10 minutes off the interstate. And, and what I learned was, it, back in the day, when Cash was um, in Hendersonville, which is where he lived, if mm -hmm. he wanted to get away, he would go to Bon Aqua because there was a farm he owned. Uh -huh. He didn't know he owned the farm <laughs> until he learned that his accountant had bought four pieces of property and uh, he decided he liked the farm. He got rid of the others, but this is where he would go. And uh, the day I went, it was just an amazing day because oh, that's actually where I met one of his daughters, which is Cindy Cash. Yeah. And uh, she just happened to be there. And Cindy told me that this is where dad would go when he wanted to, to defrag. He called this the center of his universe, mm -hmm. and uh, this is the farm that's uh, that's there. PBS gave us that uh, that video there, and she says that when he went to the farm, he was daddy. But when he left and went through the gate, he became Johnny Cash again. <laughs> so it's real, it was really cool to see another part of the story I'd not seen before. And it's not like a museum. This is really where you get to connect with the, with the family members uh, at that farm. Mm -hmm. But when the, when the owner who bought the farm was looking in some, some bookshelves, he found a VHS tape. What he didn't know was that tape had a celebration of Johnny's 20th work anniversary, June oh, Carter neat. Cash had thrown a party for him, and that video showed this store, which, so now there's more property, and that store is like a mile, a mile and a half from the farm, so they did some other research, found that, restored it, and made it into what's called um, the Storyteller's Hideaway. <laughs> so there's, there's a picture of it there. It's really in the middle of nowhere. That's what it used to look like, and uh, of course they restored it. That's Johnny's nephew, uh, that's Mark Cash, and he is part of that experience there because there's a, a small, tiny stage. He gets on and performs. He tells stories about his, about his uncle Johnny. Uh, sing, he takes requests. And uh, really, if you're in that audience there, you just really get to learn about his, his Uncle Johnny in ways that really part of it was, was in the Ken Burns, some of it was not. So a real personal connection to Johnny Cash mm -hmm. uh, in what's called the Storyteller's Hideaway Farm and Museum. And it's uh, 45 minutes west of Nashville, uh, get off at the Dixon exit. You go south really about 10 minutes. So mm -hmm. it's not far off the interstate and it's a great little drive. If you're in Nashville and you're doing the cash thing, yeah. you know, this is something you can add to it. Definitely. Uh, and the north of there is Centerville and uh, there's some mini Pearl, uh, Sarah Cannon things up there. But it's uh, really, it was really great to connect uh, to Johnny Cash in a different way this time. What a neat little hidden gem there. Yeah, I had heard about it, but I thought I want to do a little research and see Let's what it really is. I am so glad I went because Cash was so much in my mind after after watching mm -hmm. that. And of course, we've got a lot of information about uh, segments, uh, things you saw in the Ken Burns series. Mm -hmm. uh, we're connecting all the dots yeah. from all the people that are there onto our website, tnvacation.com or tnmusicpathways.com. Uh, it's a great place to go. Awesome, and a lot of people have been interested in that documentary. And thanks for doing that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Go a little bit deeper. It. Dave, I thank you. It.